While there's never another battle that has the amount of angels that the Battle of Badr has, you have to realize that in all of the battles, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is pleased with the believers. Uhud has an exception and that's the second half of it. Hunayn, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala mentions that some of the believers took it for granted because of the large size of their numbers. However, the way the Mala'ika play a role in each one of these battles has to be noted. And so I wanna actually talk about two incidents and what happens in between, Al-Khandaq and then Hunayn. Al-Khandaq, of course, was a time when Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala was extremely pleased with the believers, right? They are putting everything on the line and they are surrounded from all directions. And they have, you know, the external thing to worry about, which is the largest army they've ever heard of. And they have internal treason to worry about as well. And all the while they're being starved, they are going through a lot of difficulty in Khandaq. And Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha describes a scene of the Prophet وسلم, that when he came home after the battle of Khandaq and he took a bath, Jibreel alayhi salam came to the door and the Prophet وسلم, came to the door as well. And the Prophet وسلم, described Jibreel alayhi salam in his full armor, in his full angelic armor, whatever that would look like. And he was shaking the dust off of his head and he said, Qad silah, wallahi ma wada'tu, that you have laid down your arms, O Messenger of Allah, I have not laid them down. Meaning there's still something that has to happen here. And the Prophet وسلم, said, ila ain, where to? Fa'ashara ila bani Quraida. Jibreel alayhi salam pointed towards Banu Quraida, where there was treason that was taking place. So Jibreel alayhi salam is coming to the Prophet وسلم, and saying, we still have to proceed to this direction. Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu describes then when the Prophet وسلم, comes out of his home and he starts to make his way towards Banu Quraida, he says that I could see the dust and the sand just kicking up into the sky because of the marching of Jibreel alayhi salam's procession when the Prophet وسلم, was going out to Banu Quraida. So you could see in Banu Ghanm, a very particular area in Medina, just all of the earth kicking up because of Jibreel alayhi salam and that mighty army of the angels making their way towards Banu Quraida. Now what's happening in other parts? There's a man by the name of Sa'id ibn Shuhayim. He was actually uh, part of a tribe uh, from Murrah that was of those that had conspired to come from outside and assist on the inside to attack the Prophet وسلم, with Banu Quraida. So he was a disbeliever at the time. And he says that they were coming from the inside to harm the Prophet وسلم. They were conspiring. And as they were approaching, they heard an announcement to their army that said, oh people, your families are under attack. And so all of them returned back. And while they were returning back, they realized that that voice that they heard was not a human voice. So SubhanAllah, even the enemies were being told to, to go back and your families are under attack. And that of course deterred them from continuing inwards to harm the Prophet وسلم, from the inside. There's another narration also from someone that was on the other side, Sa'ab ibn Yasar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He relates, he said that I asked Yazid ibn Amr radiallahu anhu, who at that time was again on the other side. He was fighting against the Prophet sallallahu I said, what was it like for you during the battle of Hunayn when you were fighting against the Prophet sallallahu What happened to you and to the disbelievers when you were fighting against us in the battle of Hunayn, fighting against the Messenger sallallahu alayhi So he said, what was the feeling? And Yazid said, we felt fear. And he took some pebbles, uh, hasa, some, some stones, and he started to throw them into a platter. So he's, he's basically shaking a bunch of stones um, on a platter. And he says, this is what our stomachs were like. Kunna najidu fi ajwafina mithlahada. Like we felt this in our stomachs because of what we were encountering on the other side with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Another man by the same, in the same position, Awf ibn Abdurrahman, he says that when we were fighting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the day of Hunayn, he said, as we were about to attack him. Now remember in Hunayn, if you go back and you read the details of that battle, I mean, even though it was a large number of people that went out because of the ambushes on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his army, 
It was only a few people that were left in the battlefield. It became a very dangerous situation because of all that had been prepared for them. So he says, as we were about to attack the Prophet we saw these beautiful men that were huge that came up to us and they said, Shahatil Wujuh. They said, May your faces be disgraced. Farji'u, go back. And he says, Hazimna min dharik al kalam. He said, It was the, the roar of those words from those huge, handsome men that we had never seen before that caused us to be defeated. So we turned back and we were defeated. Jubayr ibn Mut'im radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, When we were with the Prophet وسلم, in the Battle of Hunayn and the battle was, was raging, he said, I looked up in the sky and I saw what appeared to be a black blanket that was descending from the heavens. And we were all just staring up and looking as it was coming down and it landed right between us and the enemies. And what came out of it? A bunch of ants that scattered about. And he said that caused the enemy to panic. And he said, we had no doubt as the Muslims that these were in fact the Malaika that were being sent by Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. So you see incident after incident where Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala sends these angels, sends these troops, and no one knows the Junood, no one knows the armies of Allah except for him. And the angels are only one part of that assistance that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala sends to his believers.